Hello guys, JS Games. I'm gonna be acting to my friend uh, Mario Franco 93 called my retro gaming room tour. Now before I start this reaction, I just wanna make this quick update. Now the boost notebook I've been using for a while, this will be the last time I'll be using this. Cause you know why? Because well, the gaming headset, I'm gonna be reacting to one of my gaming headsets because uh, Using the Bruce Snowball, it's just, I don't know, I got bored using this. And plus, I don't like it when my voice is so low, because I have to be close to the mic whenever I've been talking and stuff. So, if I test up the OBS, then I'll I'll use my gaming headset. But if, if it doesn't work, then I'll use my Bruce Snowball as a backup, maybe. It was good using this Bruce Snowball for like almost three years, but I think it's time we move on with the gaming headset. So yeah, this will be the last time I'll be using this Bruce Snowball, one time when it comes to reactions. Alright, I'll go ahead and get started. First, you know, I said the video itself. Check out the description below before you come to my channel. We've already done that. I'll go ahead and get started. 3, 2, 1, go. Hey guys, Mario Fangirl93 here. And finally, I'm gonna be making a room tour. And I forgot to say, so this is the first video that Sam is at the, you know, the new room. Like, actually, I did re react to it one time she moves to a new home, but that was like an incomplete room. But this time, this is a complete room. And not only a room tour, I'm actually going to be showing you a little bit of my backyard, which I will definitely do that after um, showing you my, what my room looks like since it was completely finished. Before I'll show you my room tour, something new about myself. As you can see, I got a brand new Mega Man shirt, which I got it from Walmart. Nice. And since it's almost... Summer, well, not exactly summer just got make yet, because it's only May, but I finally got my shorts on, because the weather is finally gets warm, because you know what, I'm actually getting tired of being cold most of the, the days. Well, for a second, she hates the hot weather, but she likes, I think she likes warm, but I thought she likes the cold rudder, but right now she decided that she doesn't like cold rudder. Yeah, I'm not a fan of cold rudder because cold rudder, I'm always, get, I'm always getting sick doing cold rudder. I prefer warm rudder, but when it gets super hot, I'm not a big fan. I prefer between me and like 60, 70 degrees or a little bit 80s, but 90s or more, that's way too hot for me. And also that the weather changes during this stupid COVID-19. Oh yeah. I also braided my hair. In nice. pigtails, which my hair is long enough for this. And also, I uh, just sizing up my ears. Anyways, yeah, ears enough talking bigger. random shit. I'm actually gonna be showing you what my entire room looks like. Okay, so the first thing I had right here, um, I know it looks a little bit of a mess right there with. You know, the Elgato and also the stuff Elgato. that I had Here's and there's my Switch right up there. It's As you can right. see, I finally got my posters up. Including I got this poster. I got this since I was a kid. And I didn't realize that this thing is coming from, like, from Canada when I just noticed it. Because it says Nintendo of Canada right up there. Anyways, there is some Twilight Print. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess that I... I got it from eBay. I got it from one of the malls there. This is some gadgets and gizmos. This is where I got those really cool um, frames that is like really awesome that it moves around like this. So it's really cool. They're about $20. Well, and I got this price. really, really awesome Mario lamp that I got it from Think Geek Online. Pretty cool, isn't it? And. My TV is right above there, and I know it's going to be like a struggle that I just really got to look up as I record something like this. Since I don't know, because from my opinion, when it comes to recording something, you know, the TV, it's really hard. And plus, if I put it up for so long, it really hurts my neck and stuff. That's why I prefer TV like in medium size. If it was like way too high, it really hurts my neck. You know, when it comes to recordings, I use a monitor if I'm playing a solo. But if I'm playing guest friends, you know, with the consoles, I have to use the TV. So that way I can give the commentary, you know, as I play with my friends or I, they could be my spectators. I have to rise up, have my chair up real high in order to get to seeing it really um, close without... 
hopefully her neck doesn't hurt if, if she put it up her neck up for so long for playing the TV too high. Straining my eyes. Here's only Nintendo Switch game. Okay, so she still had the Allegiance Mansion 3, which I don't know when we'll be doing I'll be doing the video Allegiance Mansion 3 because it's gonna be in hiatus. It's still gotta wait, you know, the multiplayer like me, Kevin, and Sam. I don't know when I'll be doing it, but I will do it one day. And she haven't showcased Super Mario Maker 2. It's it's mixed between Metro and Mario. Hopefully she showcased this game one day. Or she could perhaps play one of JP levels. Games and there's part of my joy this controller for my joy cons, which I basically put it right there. I got this really cool Sonic the Hedgehog um controller holder and could basically make it into a holder like many the things and can also claim my phone as well. Yeah, and this is a really cool desk. It's something you pro perhaps you guys haven't seen before. I had no idea where I um, bought this, but it is so awesome. I'm loving it already. Yeah, when it comes to her laptop, it's not powerful enough for her to do screen recorder for OBS. Yeah, I do want to apologize for the mess for um, the splitters for um, retro games and this box right I don't know. I don't use uh, splitters when it comes to, you know, classic games because I do it different than what Sam does when it comes to retro. Right there, this is for all these, um, the wires from my retro consoles, you know, which is like for the AC adapter and also the AV cables, which, you know, those plugs from retro gaming console are really heavy, like the Super Nintendo, the NES, etc., etc. All right, so there's more posters that I got right there. This, I got 3D Super World. Mario 3D World when I got it um, over six years ago. There is um, Super Mario Brothers 3 Her and also game. Super Mario Kart, which I got both of them from eBay. They're yeah. pretty damn awesome, and I put it in frame, so I really don't want to tape it again. So I did not want that happened. Yeah, my room is pretty much, you know, as you can see with this door, it does not have to be removed since this bed is um, already blocked from it, so that's... I really don't know how I feel about this. Well, it's good to, co to cover something to prevent privacy, but putting a bed like that in the door? I don't know, it's just not for me. I realize she switched to, they switched to, she switched the bed to the other side. It's really cool because I had to put this curtain to um, prevent it from privacy. Oh, yeah. I finally got this Mega Man poster. Unfortunately, I tried the frame that fits to the size. It is this poster. You know, I expect her room to be bigger, but I don't know. For me, it's just between me and small. I'm going to take the tour that I'll show you guys how my room big is. But I'm not sure how long the video, but it's mine's, mine's the biggest room, the one I'm staying, compared to my previous rooms. poster is a little too big to fit in that poster so I figured I just want to have it a little bigger than that and it's not really quite done yet with this I will always update it since it, it could well it's not as her room is not as big as her previous home I can tell you that but and I'm um, always updating the and Sam tells me I'm wrong then that I'm sorry not to be mean but I think her room is kind of like medium or small friends since it's all plastic and it slides in and slides out like this so it's pretty cool isn't it basically i just put in the corners for like extra robot masters like from Mega Man 7 Mega Man 8 9 and 10 on each corner so that's what i'm gonna do in in the future as you can see there's all of my um gaming consoles and all my plushies right up there yep i got this i still have these shelves that i you know stack it in I know it's looking a little like uneven like D this, but and, and I just DS. had to lean it like this to prevent my plushies to fall right. Let me check this again. All right. Yeah, that's a DS light. I know it's looking a little like uneven like this, but I just had to lean it like this to prevent my plushies to fall right behind the shelf. So this is all I can do it, but it always had to be updated. As you can see, there's like like a open space which um I could can get like an extra shelf which I probably have a um a four shelf um bookcase just to um have like all these collectibles so 
that is something I would like to get in the future. Here's another shelf where I had all the games. Here's all my NES collection. Here's my Game Boys and all some Game Boy Color oh, yeah. collections, which I would just updated sometime in the future. Also, the Game Boy Color games, basically. Super Nintendo, N64, Sega Genesis, PS1, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Wii. You know, it would be better on Game Boy Advance games. It's it's hard to get a Game Boy player. Nintendo DS, 3DS, and all my Wii U Wee! game collections right there. But Wee! most of it I can always update. It kind of looks like a mess right there. And this rug right there, I really love this rug because yeah, she got a, it's, she got a hard like to, it fits as a retro gaming kind of a room like this. So, so yeah. I just noticed something. Once I she done some guitar videos like last months ago, I didn't. I realized there was two guitars, like one of the that she had like black and white, and the red guitar. I didn't know she had a red guitar. I did not notice that. That is pretty much my room that I had it so far. Now that I showed you what my room looks like, I'm gonna show you what my backyard looks like. Okay, I'm at the I backyard, and what a beautiful day, my gosh. Here it is, this is a beautiful backyard, and the grass is already mowed, and here is a swimming pool, which I am pretty excited to, um, you know, just get this setting up. I don't want to, I do not want to swear this much out there because I have like, there's next door neighbor, there's kids around, so I gotta watch my language. Yeah, I can have to get Anyway, kids. this portable garage thing right there, over there. Where there's kids around our next neighbor, yeah, we have to watch, we have to watch our language. That will be replaced by a building which can build something perhaps after my 27th birthday. This will be replaced with, you know, a building when it's already built when, and it'll be become an arcade room, which Yay! I would love to have arcade an arcade room. room, because I really want to own arcades so bad. That would yep. be amazing. This swimming pool right there, um, like I said, it's definitely a four foot swimming pool, so I'm very excited. Well, at least she has her own swimming pool compared to her previous home. This. Anyway, I'm gonna go back inside. So that is pretty much all I gotta show you guys. So thank you guys for watching. This is Mari Fangirl93 signing out. Her room tour was pretty amazing. But what happened to that controller, that 8 bit dough controller, the one I gave her, you know, months ago? Maybe she hit it somewhere or she probably lost it. But it's probably hidden somewhere, including that storage right, the one I gave her last year. You know, the, in case you could, she could keep it as a backup, you know, in case she ran out of her, her computer. The two terabyte, like, the external drive. I actually enjoyed it. I will show you guys a tour of my room probably sometime later this year, whenever I get the chance. Anyway, that's all for now. See you guys later.